Howdy, hey, y'all. This is Gray Ghost 55. And I'm coming back with another Bible video where we read the Holy Bible and discover God's Word within. Maybe learn a thing or two along the way. But before we get into this, I want to say thank you all for your prayers. That uh because I hear Midway is doing better, and I'm so happy for you, sir. I'm glad you're getting better, and I'm looking forward to you getting back on full steam with the videos. I've been watching. <laughs> but get well soon, Midway. And thank you, everyone, who's prayed for him. Now, we are going with the last chapters of Deuteronomy. And it shall be closed. And be on to the next. But let's see what happens with Moses next. In Deuteronomy. Chapter 31. And Moses went and spoke these words unto all Israel. And he said unto them, I am a hundred and twenty years old this day. I can no more go out. And come in. Also the Lord has said unto me, Thou shalt not go over this Jordan before uh, the Lord thy God. He will go over before thee, and he will destroy these nations from before thee, and thou shalt possess them. And Joshua, he shall go over before thee, as the Lord has said, and the Lord shall do unto them as he did to Shine and to O, king of the Amorites, and unto the land of them whom he destroyed. And the Lord shall give them up before your face, that ye may do unto them according to, unto all the commandments which I have commanded you. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua, and said unto him in the sight of all Israel, be strong and of good courage, for thou must go with this people unto the land which the Lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. And the Lord, he it is that doeth go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. And Moses wrote this law and delivered it unto the priests, the sons of Levi, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and unto all the elders of Israel. And Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in solemnity of the year of release, in the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel is come to appear before the Lord thy God in the place which they he shall choose, thou shalt read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear the Lord your God and observe to do all the words of this law. And that their children, which have not known anything, may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God, as long as ye live in the land whither ye go over Jordan to possess it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thy days approach that thou must die. Call Joshua, and present yourselves in the tabernacle of the congregation, that I may give him a charge, 
and Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord appeared in the tabernacle in, the, in a pillar of a cloud, and the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought, in that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them un into the land which I swear unto their fathers that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxed and fat, then they will turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass, when many evils and troubles are befallen them, that this song shall testify them as a witness, for it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed. For I know their imagination which they go about even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swear. Moses, therefore, wrote this song the same day and taught it the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they were finished that Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, Ye have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death ye will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will befall you in the latter days because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And Moses spoke in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. Chapter 32 Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their, 
their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a preserved and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite the Lord, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that has brought thee? Have he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nation their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock. Butter of kine and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat, and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. But Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxen fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy. With strange gods, with abominations, provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that they came newly up, whom their fathers feared not. O the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten God that formed thee, and when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy, that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundation of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners I would make them remembrance, make the remembrance of them to cease from among men, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord has not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they had understood this, that they would consider their latter end. 
how should one chase a thousand and put ten thousand to flight, except the rock has sold them, and the Lord has shut them up? For the rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. Is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he sees that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left, and he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven, and I say I live forever. If I whet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and I will reward them that hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants, and he will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land, and to his people. And Moses came and spoke all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Hoshea the son of Nun. And Moses made an end of speaking all these words to all Israel, and he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land, whether ye go over Jordan to possess it. And the Lord spoke unto Moses that selfsame day, saying, Get thee up into this mountain, Abram, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho. And behold the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession. And die in the mount whither thou goest up, and be gathered unto thy people. As Aaron thy brother died in Mount Hor, and was gathered unto his people. Because ye trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin, because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Israel. Yet thou shalt see the land before thee, but thou shalt not go thither unto the land which I give the children of Israel. Chapter 33. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses the man of God blessed the children of Israel before his death. 
And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousand of saints. From his right hand went a fiery law for them. Yea, he loved the people. All his saints are in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet. Every one shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun, when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be few. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be thou a help to him from his enemies. And of Levi, he said, Let thy Thunem and thy Urim be with thy Holy One, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Meribah. Who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments, and Israel thy law. They shall put incense before thee, and hold burnt sacrifice upon thine altar. Bless, Lord, his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him, and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. And of Benjamin he said, the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in the safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph he said, Blessed of the Lord by his land for the precious things of heaven, for the dew and for the deep that couches beneath and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon, and for the chief things of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of the lasting hills, and for the precious things of the earth and fullness thereof, and for the good will of him that dwelt in the, bro in the bush, let the blessings come upon the head of Joseph and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in thy going out, and Iscar in thy tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifice, sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck the abundance of the seas and of treasures hid in the sand. And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlarges Gad, he dwelleth as a lion, and tearest the arm with the crown of the head. And he provided the first part for himself, because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated, and he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion whelp. He shall leap from Bashan. And of Natili, he said, O Natili, satisfied with favor and full with blessings of the Lord, 
possessed thou the west and the south. And of Asher he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rides upon the heavens in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall tr thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heavens shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Chapter 34 And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebu, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Natili, and the land of Abraham, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, unto the utmost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, unto Zor. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine, uh, with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Poor, but no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel, Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hand upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. In all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land and in all that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. And that, my friends, concludes this book of Deuteronomy. And if my knowledge is right, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe this also completes the Torah, the five books of Moses. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed it thus far. I know I have. I'm learning so much about the Lord, about what happened, about the past, the truth. But thank you all for watching. But most importantly, the biggest takeaway from all this is that all glory goes to God. And until next time, this is Greg Ghost 55.